Okay. So like I said, edited down 27 minutes. We're going to blow straight through. Okay. I'm not, there's no stopping. There's no distract. I'm going to try no distractions. I'm going to try to just go for it. Okay. I'm going to stop with like stopping for the super chat, stopping for the chat. We're going to do the reaction and then we'll get into it at the end. Okay, guys. Okay. I gotta go. I have to go put who's in the kitchen. So I gotta hurry. Sorry. Melissa. So I just dropped the letter off at home. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize that was like coming through. Uh, yeah, there's it's squeaky toy mayhem here today. New toys were got. And so, uh, the first few hours with new toys, it's insanity. It's as if they've never seen a toy. So sorry. Now I'm going home. A little bit of drama last night was like, I am so dumb. I'm so dumb. Like I always post big Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. We're starting here because as we all predicted, uh, I believe in our live three days ago, two days ago, two days ago, we said, we we guessed that she wouldn't be able to control herself. And as soon as she dropped off Kalki, she would be coming live from the car. And here we are, she just says, she just dropped off Koki and here she is. Couldn't even control herself till she got home. <laughs> Man, she's so predictable. Pictures, like the picture I posted had my hotel room, like the escape plan. Like, so I was like so worried people were gonna like harass us and stuff like that. Then I saw a comment from somebody like, does people call your hotel room? And I'm like, oh no, didn't even occur to me, you know, because I'm like, I'm like what kind of crazy people are gonna do that? But it's the internet, you can't rely on that logic, so. So I was going to leave. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to tell people I'm leaving, like, an extra day just so they don't bug us. <laughs> so, but I did end up staying an extra night. Like, the like as planned, it wasn't an extra night, but I said I was going to come home early, and I ended up, I didn't. Um, I was going to go to, the, like, the Big Apple on the way home. There's, like, this Big Apple. Just take pictures with a huge apple. How boring, right? So instead of that, I see, like, on the way home, I saw Toronto Zoo exit. So I was like, you know what? This would be amazing. Like, I felt, like, really just... Okay, I went to try to stop the fucking squeaky toy situation. Okay, and I heard her as I was coming back. <laughs> she just said about going to see some big apple. I'm sorry, but when anybody ever hears about a big apple, don't you think of New York? She's in Toronto. <laughs> just randomly, oh, I was going to stop at the big apple. No, you weren't. You were going to stop at a big apple. A? Not the same. going for a walk today and I felt like doing something like that would be good for a video so went to the Toronto Zoo very impromptu but it was like freezing out and uh it's like off season so there's not as many animals out or attractions open like there was no food or beverage stands open for like I was walking for like two hours with nothing and I'm finally just like oh finally when I felt when I saw a place that was open like, like, not even look at me like, you know, like, oh my God, because I was complaining the whole time that I wanted something to eat and drink. He's like, I have an avocado in the car. I'm like, I'm not eating a freaking avocado just like that. Because I guess that's boring. So it's just like. That is so random. So Chantal's hungry. Chantal's walking and probably a little bit ragey and in a pissed off mood because she's walking and because there's no food. And Koki goes. I have an avocado in the car. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. Wait. Yeah, you're right. We do have a big orange. Mm. <laughs> Looking trash. So I finally found a place that had pizza pizza. I got a crappy slice of pizza. I didn't even eat it all. But they had pickles on a stick. So I got a pickle on a stick. Anyway, this looks... Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me, ma'am. You're telling us that you went to Pizza Pizza. You finally, after all that trek in the zoo, you made it to Pizza Pizza. You got one piece and you didn't even eat it all? I hate when girls try to play like dainty in front of men. Like, oh no, I couldn't possibly finish that pizza. Girl, you're 400 pounds. Everybody knows you can finish the fucking slice of pizza. No hate. So could I. But I mean, at our age, does anybody really need to play those fucking femme fatale games anymore? Show him how much you can eat. Show him what he's in for. Fuck. That's what I would do. 
Lisa, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I, it's force of habit. Let's move on. But thank you for the super chat, girl. Vlog, like I have so many videos to edit. You guys, I'm so tired. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to do some tonight. At least one video. And then I'll uh, do this tomorrow or whatever. I don't know. I'm not even gonna like, I really wanna do the misery thing, but it's such a big thing that I'm just like not in the right state of mind. And I just, again, I'll owe you one, okay? I can't. Oh, she'll owe us one because she's not doing the misery video. She insisted she was doing this misery video. We all knew we weren't getting the misery video, but now she owes us one. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so I'm going to talk your ear off till I get home because I haven't talked to you guys in forever. Um, but yeah, I don't want any drama. I'm like blocking and deleting people who are just being negative and blah, 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 especially on Instagram. Like I leave my comments open to bait people who are rude. So I can delete them and just, I don't know. Especially after I've worn, like, you're allowed to have an opinion. I get it. And I get, I'm, I'm an asshole for being so confusing and just like coming on here and blah, blah, blah. Like I posted on my community post. I get it. But at the end of the day, moving on, that's it. You know, like there's no point dwelling on it and just drama, blah, blah, blah. Like this is stuff for my therapist, right? Like. So she says that in hour one of this live stream, this live stream goes on for four hours and she fucking talks about the drama and the drama for four or not quite four hours. Cause at the end she was so shit faced. She couldn't really talk about anything anymore. Can we unwind? I have so much laundry. Oh my God. My room is a pig sigh. I know you guys accidentally seen it in one of Pete's videos. I said, Pete, why in the frigging hell are you not careful when you do vlogs? don't go in my room it's so messy he's like sorry i'm just like Ugh. but my okay i just thought of this this is coming from nowhere except for in my own head and uh, right now do you think it's possible that pete's knows that that's what people want people want a little bit of the tea and stuff right so he purposely did that little flash in her room while it was filthy and he purposely showed that filthy carpet knowing that maybe people will now watch his his vlogs hoping to catch glimpses of the house and stuff and like that he'll get more views is it possible that he is that calculated hmm hmm just saying the room is bad yeah it is bad i need to clean it again it gets messy in like one day two days <laughs> it's just tornado of clothes cups whatever the cheddar cheese ring Oh, wait, ma'am. She just said that that room gets dirty in two, uh, messy, messy, filthy is the word you're looking for. That room gets filthy in two days. We all saw the room. That is not, not anywhere close to two days worth of filth. And if it is, you're doing something really wrong, girl. Really wrong. Eesh. Yeah, what does this people think? Of? Which, okay, if you're engaged, which hand is it, left or right? So if I would get engaged with She's not good enough of a troll to pull a troll like that. Oh, which hand is it with the engagement ring? Sh shut up. Shut up. Okay, we were trying to guess the other day. Was it a troll? Was that picture a troll? Now we know it was a troll. That stupid comment made it obvious it was a troll. It is. Well, why not? An onion ring would do. <laughs> Did you try the orange chicken at Cheesecake Factory? Okay, so the Cheesecake Factory pissed me off because their freaking deep fryer was not working. And they didn't tell that to... <clears throat> yeah, this whole thing is trolly. It's so trolly. Okay, so Amber Lynn has been standing up and chopping things standing up and keeping a clean house. So this one has to go to Cheesecake Factory and get the orange chicken? Come on. My feet are killing me. Oh, yeah. Cheesecake Factory had their deep fryer wasn't working. So the waiter's like, I'm like, yeah, so I'll have. So before, like, they, they asked me what I want. So I'm like, yes, yeah, so I'll have the cheeseburger egg rolls and the fried cheese. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. Our fryer's not working. So I was like, I was like a little sn snarky, not with like at him, but just like. So most of the things that are delicious here are fucking are effing deep fried. <laughs> the attitude over a fucking fryer. <sighs> 
And someone pointed out on Twitter this morning, that was extremely rude. Why would she be rude to the server for a, like, machine malfunction in the kitchen? What the hell does your waiter have to do with whether or not the fucking fryer is working? <clears throat> With that fucking eh. girl, save your fucking eh and go somewhere else. You went to another town, you're in a whole other food town, and you go to the fucking cheesecake factory. That is just <laughs> Yeah, it comes off as like not only food aggression, but like you know those ads for the Snickers, the the hangry? This is hangry Chantal, and she's even more of a bitch than regular Chantal. <laughs> Fuck. And then hold up, hold up. All the stereotypes of people maybe spitting in your food or fucking with your food. Why would you be so rude? <laughs> As you're ordering, <laughs> you can tell somebody who's never ever worked in like service or with people. She's so fucking entitled. It's so gross. And you can tell by how bothered I am that I have been a server before. <laughs> you know, fucking rude as all hell. The Cheesecake Factory is, like, super overrated. The food was meh, you know? <laughs> anyway, so I'm not impressed. I had chicken Madeira or something. The asparagus was rock hard and disgusting. The chicken was rubbery. tasted like uh, eggs. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. So suddenly she's a foodie tonight. Isn't that amazing? I don't think I've ever heard her be so fucking descriptive about food and look how negative and bitchy it was. It took being bitchy to actually get, like, an adjective out of her. <laughs> wow. Fine China for the wedding. What are you talking about? I can't believe people actually thought I was going to get married. <laughs> While away. You guys are crazy, you know that? Jeez. Actually, no, because I did say I was thinking about it. Yeah, you're right. You're not crazy. I am. <laughs> My hair looks like shit. I haven't washed it once all week. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, oh, God. Okay. She didn't go camping. She literally was at a hotel for a few days. And from all the pictures that she put online, it seems like they spent 50% of the trip in the bathtub. Why is your hair not been washed for one week? It what? That's like you're making a conscious effort to stay filthy. That's disgusting. Can you imagine going on vacation with your new man? <laughs> You're literally staying in a hotel and posting. Yeah, it has to be a troll. All those fucking pictures from the tub. She was just, what, too lazy to re-soot her fucking head. That's why she didn't wash her hair. I showered and took a bath, but in my hair, no. The same hair fibers are in. It doesn't look like something I would get. Oh, it does have one. Oh, yeah, it is. They just left it? Did you call them to arrange it? I'm going to have it left at, a, at the Jean Coutu. But. The Jean Coutu? As like a uh, pickup spot? Yeah, but we don't live in Quebec. There's a Jean Coutu on. Who's that? Here, yeah. Oh. There's Jean Coutu in Cornwall. Oh, you're Canada. right. I like when we say Jean Coutu. Even, even Cornwall has them. It's petty. I left that in for one reason. Uh, just by the way, Jean Coutu is a pharmacy like here. And I guess they have them in Ontario too. Um, she didn't know that they had Jean Coutu. And uh, like, according to Pete's, it's somewhere like right down the road from their house, like very close. He's like, yeah, it's like right there. Oh. And then he goes, they even have them in Cornwall. <laughs> You're Little hometown had fucking Jean Coutu and you don't know that Jean Coutu is there. What? Oh. If she's that oblivious to like what's around, is it safe for her to be driving? Hmm? If your eyes were really like on shit, wouldn't you have noticed the fucking Jean Coutu that's like right by your house? Weird. Oh, Raven Lunatic. I think she did because in one of those pictures, there was the grinder open behind her. Oops. Hmm. It smells like twisty pisty. What the hell? Can we bees, please? I fucking miss bees. Actually. <laughs> you guys are probably, that's why you like peeps, eh? No filter peeps. He doesn't, he doesn't realize you don't show the messiness. <laughs> uh, yeah, he doesn't realize or he realizes damn right. <laughs> Pete's wants the money too, right? Pete's has quit his job. 
if I'm understanding correctly. This is his only gig now. I wouldn't put it past him at this point. And yeah, like the comment said, he is fed up of her shit. He's pissed off she went back to Koki. Why not show her fucking bedroom or her little coin? Hmm. It was sort of an accident that I showed as much of the mess as I did. By the way, no, there was no poop on the floor. In my room? Yeah. It does there... happen that cats have dingleberries and they fall off, but or hairballs. And I usually come over when I come home, I clean them up. That's just a flat out lie. We saw the pictures yesterday. That was shit on the floor. If it's not shit, what was it? Hmm? Squares of chocolate left to melt on the carpet? Come on, peeps. I don't understand the point of showing the filthy house and then trying to co like cover up and lie for what we saw with our own eyes, but okay. The best part of the trip, the bathtub, no. And another thing. Yes, I did lie about Chantal coming home early. To be fair, she asked me to do it because Kels. her freaking room number had been figured out. Yeah. Like, then she figured out what room she was staying in. So, because I posted. That's my fault. Oh. By the way, we're still doing that. Uh, wow. So, when she asked Pete's to lie for her, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> when she asked Pete's to lie for her, she lied and said, oh my God, they figured out the room I'm in. So he goes, oh shit, okay, I'll lie for you. And now that he's saying it on the camera, no, well, that was my fault. I posted the picture because I couldn't stop posting because I was so proud to be in a hotel room with a man. I just had to keep reminding everybody every few hours instead of just taking personal pictures for my damn self. It's on you, girl. And then she had to lie to Pete's just to make sure. Shit. Misery parody video? Mm. You don't want to? I can't. I have nothing ready. Uh, all right. So it's going to have to be another time. I have too much on my mind. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, maybe eventually. Yeah, I mean, it's, it doesn't have to be Halloween specific anyway, so we can do it uh, whenever. I need to fake a name. I went to check in the hotel, and I don't know why. That's disappointing. Hold on. Does anyone else get the vibe that Pete's actually was like, maybe looking forward to doing that misery video? He sounds a little like, oh, he wanted to do it. She just won't fucking do it. Pete's, Pete's, Pete's. <laughs> Just assume it wasn't going to happen, because that's what we all fucking assumed. Let's be real here. You're supposed to know her better than we do. But it was under foodie beauty. <laughs> how does that work? I guess maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I'm like, I gave my first and last name. They're like, what's not under there? I'm like, well, uh, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Unless, again... Unless I'm misunderstanding this, I'm going to call bullshit on this right here. So Chantal's the one who made the reservation at the hotel, or the reservation, like book the room. Okay. And then when they get to the hotel, she gives her name and, oh, it's not under her name. It's under Foodie Beauty. How? How? You booked the fucking room to the name Foodie Beauty Y so that when you when you had to say that at the counter, you could look at Nader and go like, oh, look at me. I'm so famous. I'm like fucking Ontario famous. They all know me here as Foodie Beauty and flex fucking Foodie Beauty on the guy at the fucking hotel desk. Girl, please. <laughs> uh, just wondering if there were any more plans for us for um the last couple days before halloween no nope. okay just curious and i have to edit all my crap mm. <clears throat> you know did you get any videos up while you were uh uh so pete's again sounds disappointed and i'm reading that as pete's wanted to go and do some of this halloween shit so that he would have some content to put on his channel Makes sense, right? And she had probably made him like, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to do this and we're going to do this. And in the end, we did fuck all. And there's him asking, like, is there anything we're going to do for Halloween? No. I have so much editing to do. Oh, my God. Okay. A whole last day has passed now. She's been home for almost 24 hours with all the editing to do and all the footage. And oh, my God, the vlogs, vlogs, vlogs. Has there been anything uploaded today? I didn't get any notification. I just checked, but I'm like, mm, before I shoot my big mouth off, you know, <laughs> I didn't get any notification today. 
Hmm. So what are you doing, girl? Did you just get fucking wrecked high? Do fuck all all day? Spend another wasted day with Koki? Hmm. And then she'll come on live at middle of the night again. I just want to bees. Save it, man. No. I just didn't feel like, I don't know. It was just like I didn't have time or something. So you're Vlogtober. So you didn't quite finish Vlogtober then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or did you miss other days? Yeah, I missed a lot of days. <laughs> uh, no. Did I miss any days? Yeah. No, I missed some days. Yeah. Uh, okay. So technically. Oh, shut up, Chantal. Trying to pretend. Did I miss any days? Yeah, you missed all the fucking days because live streaming every day wasn't the plan for your Vlogtober. Not at all. There was like specific specific days that you were gonna be live streaming. There was content. You remember when your grandmother was still in the hospital and you were wasting your time in the hospital instead of spending it with your grandmother, doing those stupid fucking fake notes about all the content that you were gonna do during Vlogtober? Where's the content? Hmm? Were you writing down things to do during your live streams? Cause that never happened either. Uh. I don't know, like, I can still do Vlogtober and stuff, but I don't know if I'll be doing videos every day. I don't know. Okay, this video, this, this live stream was from last night. So on the 28th of October, she tells us, oh, I don't know if I'll be doing videos every day for Vlogtober. Ma'am, 29, 30, 31. You got three fucking days left and jack shit done so far. So how about you give us even one fucking video? Oh, or is that mukbang you did going to be the only one? Because I have a feeling that whole thing, that whole fucking production of coming out and doing that mukbang was really just so that she could come out being, you know, with her side pony and her head wound. It was about taking that jab. It really had nothing to do with the video at all. She just didn't have the balls, the balls to do something like that again. Hmm? Yeah, exactly. October is over. There is three days. Like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do a video every day. There's three fucking days, man. Hexy, number for four months. Use my VIB to buy a chocolate fountain and fill it with gravy. Hexy! Hold on. I did go to the CN Tower, but it was like a day before um, we could both go in with because of the vaccination thing. Because like apparently for some places it has to be 14 days. Like the Cheesecake Factory oh, didn't even check the day. They just saw that we both had both both vaccines. I didn't go to lunch because KB, I had so many bath bombs. But I actually used them all. <laughs> when I was there, I took like so many baths. I have it all in. So while you were there, you took so many baths, but you didn't wash your hair at all. Okay. You went all the way to Toronto to take some baths, barely leave your room, order Uber Eats, and bitch about all the walking and not eating at the zoo. Oh my God, what a dream vacation. <laughs> it's gonna be like, you know when, when those girls go to Mykonos and stuff and they come back and they fucking tell you about their goddamn trip to Mykonos for the next three years of your life? You're listening to the stories and take me back. But shut the fuck. We're gonna be here and take me back to fucking Toronto as if she actually went somewhere. Let's all keep in perspective here. She never left her province. Come on! <laughs> Oh my God, the bathtub at the top of the, Toronto. And we could see all of Toronto. Like, so what? You could probably almost see home by like in the top of that building. That's ridiculous, man. On video, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to edit after this. I wanted the orange chicken from uh, Cheesecake Factory. Of course you and did. And the deep fryer wasn't working. Um... The ride up was, like, the rental car made it so smooth and amazing. Like, it was so worth it. And my car's older. So, like, newer cars. I don't know if you guys have it. No, I'm not nervous. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm actually really relaxed and had a really, really, really good time. I really did, guys. It was amazing. Like, it was such a nice hotel room. We're on the 37th. You hear? you hear? I had such a great time. It was so amazing. Take me back. You can almost like hear it coming, you know? What was so amazing? 
the fact that you fit into the bathtub, honest to God, besides that, what was fucking amazing? It's like, I'm, I'm listen, I know I'm shitting on the Toronto people right now. No hate to y'all Toronto, but I mean, like, what, what, what's so fucking amazing? <laughs> like, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe I'm biased because this is my city, but she comes back and forth to Montreal quite often, right? You come to Montreal, at least, number one, you've left your home province. Wow. Number two, you're coming to a place, you go to old Montreal, it literally looks and feels like you're in Europe, okay? You feel like you left home. It's another language. You have to force yourself in French. You, It feels so much more like an actual vacation. And she's all acting like, mm, Toronto, Toronto. It's like, I, I'm, I'm missing something here, okay? Wow. Seventh floor, and <laughs> no privileges, and our bathtub, our bathroom overlooked the entire like harbor front, har like area of Toronto, downtown Toronto. It was like really, really cool, and the bathtub was like really nice. And like you're in the bath, and you can see like all of um, Toronto. It was really cool. Oh my God. Yeah. It's like really cool. Like, okay. Not to shit on it. It was probably cool. But you notice that the only thing we've heard of is that fucking bathtub until now and the Uber Eats. Toronto, Toronto. She's even saying it like someone food. Wait, does everyone in Ontario say it like that? Toronto. I always thought it was just people from Toronto who say Toronto and the rest of us say Toronto, but she's saying Toronto. So maybe it's an Ontario thing. I don't fucking know. Point is... Did you just stay hold up in the in the fucking hotel room like two crackheads? Because you didn't have to go all the way to Toronto for that. You've been doing that for the past six months in your fucking bedroom for free. It was like really, really cool. Anyway, the first thing I did when I got there, Uber Eats. Actually, room service. I called fucking zero. Press zero. Yes, this is room. I don't even remember what. 30 something. Yes. Um, do you have room service? So <laughs> I ordered room service and then I ordered again Uber Eats. Uh, that's that's why I wanted to go for uh, how expensive. Okay, room service. I'll tell you guys. Anybody remember when Amberlynn and Becky went to Pride and they didn't actually go to Pride? They just stayed in the fucking hotel and ordered Uber Eats and shit? Yep. Same thing. <laughs> Room service was like a hundred bucks every time. Easy. But I had cash. So I was just like, oh yeah, I had cash. Cause I had took out some cash to buy some like edibles and instead I spent it on room service. The view from the tub, it's amazing, huh? It is really, really good. I'll show you guys. But what else is new? Wait. <laughs> So there's an attraction in Toronto called the CN Tower, okay? Spoiler alert, they couldn't go to the CN Tower because it sounds like Koki wasn't vaccinated in time. Okay, CN Tower is like this tall-ass tower, and you can go up in the tower, and you see, actually see all of Toronto from up there? No, no, fuck the CN Tower. We don't even need the CN Tower. We have the CN Tower all up in this tub. We can see all of Toronto from this tub. That is so nuts. <laughs> Girl, buy a house. I know. I want to. I actually want to, but I don't know. I don't think I'm like, I'm at like a crossroads. What do I need to do with my life? I have to start thinking more responsibly and seeing, you know? Buying a house. Oh my God. I hate when she's being all full of shit. You know, when she tries to be like responsible adult for a couple of sentences there before she falls back into stoned lunatic grown-ass toddler. Okay, that was one of those moments where she's trying to actually act like a grown-ass person. If she was being honest right there, she would have said, oh, oh, I could never get a mortgage. That's the reality of the situation. This woman pretty much lives paycheck to paycheck. We know that. We've seen her grow broke many, many months. You know, um, she's got the same old hoopty car, like, She's got no assets at all. They live like squatters in a somewhat empty house. They don't even own like possessions and stuff. Um, 
And that's her response to you should buy a house. Let's just be fucking real here. She could never get a mortgage. Hmm? Even people who aren't like in a mess and whatever, and uh, YouTube would be your only income. It would be extremely difficult to get a mortgage. Nobody's given her a fucking mortgage. House is like, it's so expensive. Like I, I, it's not like it used to be. So I don't even know if that's going to happen. Like, honestly, I want to just, I kind of want to travel. Like I really had a fun weekend. I know everyone thought it's going to be horrible, but it was actually really, really fun. Whenever you communicate with somebody and you're sober and you're just having a good time, it makes such a big difference. The cats, I know, I need to take them. I didn't forget about them, I swear. It's like, what the heck was I thinking? Scheduling the vet visit be right the same day as my trip. Like... Obviously, I'm already stressed, already behind, because I'm last minute, make my life hard. Does anybody think, oh, wait, wait, okay, for anybody who maybe uh, didn't see or forget, okay, so the day they're leaving for Toronto, which was Tuesday morning, she had scheduled the vet appointment, allegedly, for the cats, that one of her subscribers had actually super chatted her to bring the cats to the vet. Okay, she claims, claims that she had... Uh, made that appointment the same day that they were going to Toronto earlier in the day. Mm. Does anybody think that she had ever actually made a vet appointment? Hmm? Should I maybe make a poll? I think I'm going to make a poll. We'll just continue watching. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! <laughs> FFG, I was born in Montreal and now live in Toronto. <laughs> if you've ever been to Toronto, you would know why everybody loves it here. Whatever, girl! <laughs> I think you've been gone too long. I think the water has started to affect your memory of Montreal. Maybe you need to come back and just remember. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Murder. And I mean, the cats are fine. Like, I did take them, like, last year. But vegan for life. Did donate that money for BBJ, so I will take her. How is your credit? You should make it a go by 40. Could definitely do it by 40. Maybe. I don't know. Wait. Wait right there. So she just admitted that she's only taken to the vet, the, the cats to the vet because the subscriber vegan for life or whatever had paid for BBJ to go to the vet. Okay. And then she goes, well, they don't really need to go. They went last year. I don't have a cat, okay? I'm a, I'm a dog person. But the dogs go to the vet every year and now more often because they're old. BBJ is also old. I'm assuming it should work somehow the same way. But that's neither here nor there. If even Sam went last year to the vet, why isn't she taking them both now? And did you hear her word that? That it sounds like finally she's going to only, only take BBJ to the vet? Hmm. Hmm. So am I. So am I. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, no, I, I'm putting the poll up now. I just want, I didn't want to miss that comment. I'm doing it now. I don't know if I want to, if I want to even live in Canada, like I kind of just want to, you know. I couldn't. Here we go again. Here we go again. Ooh, we haven't heard that in a while, but there it is again. When Koki's influence, you can you can tell when it's, you know, when she's only actually spewing Koki's words at us. That was another one of those. I don't know if I want to live in Canada. Shut up. Shut up again. Shut up all the times that you used to say that before when Koki had put that in your head. And shut up again. Where are you going? Where, honest question. Where, where's... Where are you going to move that's going to give you the hell of the free health care you need, girl? And those 16 fucking assorted puffers you're on. And all those pills and the blood strips and... Fuck, man. You need this place, okay? You're not just one of those pick-up-and-go girls, okay? Toronto, by the way, is still Canada. I know you feel like you went on a foreign vacation and shit, girl, but you were in Toronto, relax with the moving away from moving away from Canada. It's just ridiculous. I didn't get into the aquarium because of the COVID vaccination dates, but 
Uh, these are a size eight. I wear size eight. Eat foods to decrease inflammation. Yeah, I know that's true. Actually, probably. Just seems like no matter what I do, I can't lose more weight. Like, no matter what I do implies that you've been doing, ma'am. You haven't done shit. You ate nashies literally until this country had no more nashies left. Okay. All summer long, you ate all kinds of crap. You eat lakmas by the box. You go on vacation and Uber eats and room service like on alternate. And then you say things like, no matter what I do, come on. How about a little effort? If you do that, maybe something else would happen. Okay, everybody, please vote in the poll. It is very important. Did she ever make the vet appointment for the cats? Oh my God, it's 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 gonna be a landslide. Oh my God, we'll leave it up for like another minute, okay? I'd have to really, really, really crack down and just, I'm not even gonna worry about it. What I'm doing, I'm just gonna like, try to eat more whole foods like I've been doing, except this weekend. Actually, the amount of food I ate this week, these past few, two days, I'm surprised I didn't gain more weight. Beezing. Did I leave the hotel room trashy? Yeah, pretty trashy. Because I don't get room service. So by the time, like every day, I always, I just keep do not disturb. But I left like a $20 tip. Is that good? I don't know. Look at her. Oh, God. Why does she say stupid things? Why? Why? If she doesn't want the answer. The face she makes, she knows damn right that wasn't enough money. You just said you kind of trashed the room. And we've seen your bedroom and you say that that's just a bit messy. So I can't even imagine the state that they left that hotel room. That's frightening to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> she left $20 for trashing a hotel room. They were two people in that fucking hotel room. And she knows it wasn't enough. So she makes that. Oh, was that in a half? No, idiot. You know it wasn't the fucking enough. What is $20 nowadays? Nothing. You said that you trashed the room. You were such a jackass. Oh, if it was my hotel, I would blackball her dumbass. And I wrote like, sorry for our mess. <laughs> I mean, I tried to clean what I could. Lying poo. She's so full of shit. I tried to clean when I could. No, you didn't. You just see people in the chat going, oh my God, $20 wasn't nearly enough. That's why. I tried to no, you didn't. You just said you trashed it. And then you you see, you see wrote a little note to say, sorry. Fucking save your fucking sorries, man. Nobody needs your fucking sorries. They want your tips. Okay? They're not there doing fucking uh, volunteer work cleaning out your trashed hotel room. People work for money. Hmm? You know, the way you come onto YouTube and degrade yourself for money, some people actually get off their ass and have to clean up after slobs like you. $20 isn't even fucking close, girl, and you know it. That's disgusting, man. No $20 a day? Oh, it's per day. No, but they don't, they didn't clean it every day. Oh, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Now they're coming into two crackheads hotel room three days later and they have to clean up a fucking cesspit, girl. Who cares if they came in every day or not? $20 to clean up that? Oh, man. I, I feel really bad for the people who had to go into that room. That's horrible. Horrible. Hotel per night. I didn't know that. See, I feel like an ass. Did I leave enough money? Why are you chatting with Renata? That's so lame. No, I've seen, like, he showed me, like, all his messages because I was, like, you know, like, with what happened. So usually, like, women will call him for, or message him first. Uh, so he'll call them back, call them back, or whatever, just to see. But, like, I'm usually there, or... Okay. I'm going I'm to make a little comment on this. Here's my opinion. I don't think Koki's the one who, like, reaches out to most people the first time. Okay, 
Now, yes, that's hypocritical coming from me. I know he reached out to me. I know he reached out to Shannon. Da -da. There's certain people, yes. But like for the most part, I'm pretty sure it's all these, I don't even know for whatever reason, people contacting Koki. I don't, I don't know. They're interested, interested in just like you know, fucking around online and having a giggle, whatever. She just said <laughs> that when the people call him, when women call him, he calls them and calls them and calls them and calls them. Why is he doing that? What the hell? What the hell is that? That is fucked up. Why does he like it so much that he has to call and call and call and insist they answer? Koki should have already closed down that fucking uh, Facebook account and made another one, like an incognito account where nobody knows it's his account. He likes it. He loves this. It's gross. Oh, gross. Exactly. I forgot all about that. It's like my, my memory is trying to block it out or something. Ugh. Like innocent chat, whatever. I don't care. Why doesn't he have pictures of you? Not yet. <laughs> because like, look at like, I've done nothing but trash him. Like, even though like, if you guys say, well, you're just telling your story, whatever, still. On his on his end, right? <laughs> Maybe eventually go. Hold on. Okay, yeah. No, Koki won't put her up on Facebook. We all understand why. We've explained it a million times on this channel. They're not in the relationship that she thinks they're in. We'll leave it at that. Um, D Lady M, girl, re relax, girl. I said not every case, but for the most part. Okay, I'm sure it's not him reaching out, but not every case. Guys, I don't know. What wedding? You guys honestly thought I got married, didn't you? So which finger is it on, by the way? Is it this one or this one? I have this in my... Look at my hairline. It rubbed off. You know why it rubbed off? Because I had my toque on today. And Vlogtober finale is going to be the haunt paranormal investigation. My widow's peak is growing back. Damn it. Look it. No McDonald's? <laughs> I'm not nervous. I'm really, ha I'm actually happy right now. I'm sorry, I forgot to end the poll, so I just ended the poll. And the results are, did she ever uh, make a vet appointment for the cats? 96% no, 3% yes. All right, that's pretty unanimous enough for me. I don't know. So now she's trying to convince us that she's actually happy. Okay. She's really happy right now. Cool. Cool. Maybe it's just me. If I'm really happy, I certainly don't come out online and start raging about a random stranger for four hours. Now, devil's advocate here. If the story of May isn't true, and th th sure, they have reason to be mad. We still don't know, right? Neither does she. Don't try to convince us of how fucking happy you are and rush your boyfriend out of the fucking car so that you can come on live stream and rage for four hours while you get high and stuff your face. That screams happy girl to me. I am actually really happy, for real. I promise. I was really happy. I had such a day like at the zoo i'm so glad i went it was so fun you guys yeah i have some things to do uh i have so many emails i have some emails to go through and shit she's so busy such a busy influencer oh my god all the emails that she never answers now suddenly she's going through them hmm. okay maybe thanks girl <laughs> Maybe I'm being a hater ass bitch, but this is two 40 year old people who are going on vacation. I can't speak for Koki, but I certainly can assume. And, but I can speak for Chantal because we watch her, right? She never goes on vacation ever, ever, ever. Finally goes on vacation to 40 year old grown ass people. They do nothing but take baths and then go to the zoo. Sounds like a fucking dream vacation. I mean, the bath, I'm not going to shit on it. I would take, I love to take a bath. The bath is lovely and relaxing on a vacation, at home, wherever. But 
<laughs> yeah, vacation from what is a great fucking question, number one. But number two, that's all you did. That is literally all you did was bathe with your crackhead and then go to the zoo. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I have so much to do. I'm so disappointed. I'm I have I'm too busy of a person. Like this disarray and being lazy and not this is that shouldn't be. Like I have a lot to do in my life. Right now, especially. I don't mean like I'm super booked and like important that I have like that kind of stuff to do. I mean like for myself, like I'm not bad actually. I did eat 6.7. Okay, wait, wait, we, we can't just glaze over that. She's just so busy, guys. She has just such um, a full, you know, well-rounded life full of activities and obligations. She's just so busy. It's getting overwhelming. Girl, doing what? So busy where? You spend like, I don't know, three quarters of your day just blitzed out of your mind fucking loving on that llama. Is that, is that like accounted for time? Is that why you're so busy? Next. I know nothing about these diabetes meters, okay? What is that? 6.1, 6.7? I can't fucking read that yet. Is that high? Is that low? I swear I have no idea. But I, I feel like even if it was like very high, she would still point at us and go, oh, that's great. So I don't trust her like uh, deciphering of the number. I need one of y'all. Okay, wait. 6.7, how long after eating? She needs to wait two hours. Hmm. Some tree. Thank you so much for that info. Normal range. That's normal range. Okay. No, it's a good number. Up to seven is normal. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for that info. Good to know. After eating, that's good. That's really good. An automatic litter box? It's usually, it's not that, it's the dingleberries that fall off, or they have hairballs. It's not that they just shit on the floor. I mean, they have before, but... I just don't want people to, I'm not talking about drama tonight, like, I'm not getting into drama. I don't want people insulted. I want people to just, like, be respectful of one another, like, even if you don't like somebody, just fucking treat them still as a human being. Keep in mind that she said this um, on what, what are we on now? Hour two of her time video. She's still got two more hours left and she's going to rage about May after saying things like that. Everybody's human and treat them like a human. So she wants everybody to not only treat Koki well, given the benefit of the doubt, all the everything goes to Koki, but she will continue to shit on anybody she wants, say whatever the fuck she wants, take her low ass blows as she always does. That's cool. That's fine. Because somebody came for her. But God forbid we have a fucking opinion about her crackhead. Hmm. Congratulations on your new home girl. Somebody who breathes, somebody who eats and shits just like you do, you know? It's actually, yeah, Mr. Toad, it is drama. Especially since it's not true. Don't worry, we're working on getting the, the footage. Don't worry. That's all I'm going to say. Goes on to speak for hours. And yeah, I'm a petty ass bitch. I cut this and put it in four times just so everyone would see where that hand goes. So that's all I'm going <laughs> to. Say, but I don't know. I, I have her video, like her most recent video, like saying she went on business. Yet she had the message to Natter says, I'm coming to Canada to see you. To see you. So Natter is like super excited about having fans. This woman is like 80. Not saying that 80-year-olds don't get sexually assaulted. It happens. But nothing ever sexual. Like, no, I have, we have all the messages. Like, 
there's all also like if there's cameras like he's seen her for like 10 minutes like that the camera would prove that like there's f footage of her chasing him down the street and he's like i gotta go i gotta go like she tried to like grab his dick and shit and like no okay this is part of what i left in and for a reason obviously i don't i i told you guys right i'm stepping back from this fucking story but i felt like this was key because Chantal had tried to convince us the other day that he had never been to the hotel. This whole story was completely fabricated, May's story. He had never even been to the hotel. She just admitted that he went to the hotel. And that the cameras would show that he was only there for, what, like 10 minutes? But you, you had just said the day before that he hadn't been to... Okay. When I heard her say that sentence, I knew the stream was getting deleted. So that's why I started recording like a maniac. <laughs> like, it's not funny though. I'm just, I'm, the recording process was hilarious last night, but oops, <laughs> girl, you need to stop. You need to stop talking. Okay. And I'm not saying that for her to cover up for Koki or anything, but in terms of Listen, we don't fucking know if this thing really is going to end up like, you know, down like a legal path or whatever. She needs to stop talking. Okay. Hang on. Somebody just put my next point right in the chat. Wait, wait, wait. There. Karma's a babe. Exactly. That's my second point. She said that the woman is like an 80 year old woman, but then also just said that she chased him down the street. Okay. Like it could be, there are some really fucking fit ass 80 year olds, but the likelihood of an 80 year old chasing Koki down the street is pretty, pretty fucking low in my opinion. She's actually like, if you watch her, you can tell she's, she's sitting on a piss pad the whole time her video, her camera's pointed at her crotch. Like, you know what I mean? So, but anyway. No, I said that. I said, you, no, definitely. He knows that now. Meet up with people. It's like, it. Oh, so now he knows. Now, now Koki has figured out that it's not such a great idea to randomly go meet up with people. Again, she just said it again. Because saying it once a few minutes ago wasn't enough. She just said it again. Cool. Well done, Chantal. It doesn't matter, Lucky Lola. My experiences are different. Okay? And I've already said that. I'm not talking about that. I've decided, we've decided that we're going to try this. And that's my choice. Like, things have been really good. And I'm just, that's it. And I love him. And that's what I want to do. I hate this. Blah. Okay. The way she just said that, well, things have been really good and we want to give it a try and this is what we're going to do. It sound, Doesn't that sound to you like we're all just irrationally hating on Koki since the beginning? I'm not, we're not talking about May anymore. This is, we're back to her story with Koki. Yeah. She makes it sound like we all fucking have been hating on him for nothing. We're all the irrational, jealous ass bitches. And that's why we don't like the guy. And she's made her decision, and they're giving it a try, and that's what we're going to do. Like, girl, you told us all the shit that's gone down. You can't stop fucking talking. We all have reasons to hate him, and that's way before May. And I swear to God, I'm not even talking about May. In my mind now, that is a non-factor with this Koki thing. We reacting to Chantel and what she has fucking said and what we have seen from him, Okay. We know that he's been using her for months, abusing her for months. Girl, we're not irrational haters who just hate this guy. We've been saying it for months. I would have been so happy and a lot of us would. It would have been a cool story arc for this channel had she actually met a guy and started a relationship and actually been happy and this would have been a thing. It would have been awesome. It would have been awesome for her, awesome for us. It would have given us something, some fucking intrigue in this story. Hmm? Everybody loves a romance. 
Nobody likes an abuse arc. Okay. Let's not try to pretend like this is something that it wasn't hmm? or pretend like we only don't like him now because some story that may or may not even be fucking true has what warped our mind about this poor, innocent, awesome guy. Fuck right off with that bullshit. And I am sorry. Like, I feel like shit that I just, like, aired out so much dirty stuff about us, too. Like, that doesn't help. You know? He went to her. That doesn't help. Listen to her with her stupid little voice trying to minimize her role in how much we all hate this guy. Well, I said too much, and that doesn't help. No, girl. That's the whole fucking reason that everyone hates him. Again, had you not doxxed him, had you not continued to talk about him, if you had not thrown him in our faces when you knew damn right we all fucking hated him, it would have been a non-issue. You did this. You doxxed him. You fucking forced him on us. It's on you, girl. Always had been. If you could learn how to shut your fucking mouth, nobody would know about your private life. It literally is that simple. And no one else's fault her to hotel room because like he told me about that i remember he's like some fan of mine saying she's gonna come from the states like this older woman and wants to try my food and stuff like that she was traveling to canada and she wants to come and like stop by do you want to meet my fan with me like he he did ask me that i remember and i was like oh and i was like it's not gonna happen like nobody's gonna come and he didn't think so either and then she did come and like I was away from him not very long that day. I don't know. And then I guess it was like the whole thing was like he went there and because she traveled all the way down, you know. So anyway, so that's. Oh, God, she's doing that thing, you know, you know, where she manipulates us. But it's to try to convince us that Koki's all innocent in this. Right. He didn't he didn't go to meet up with someone for really like sketch ass fucking reasons. No matter what those reasons are or no matter what may have happened on that meetup. No, no, no. He wasn't the one being sketchy. She came all the way from the States. You know, he's just being the most polite criminal ever. You know? You know, shut like, get the fuck out of here. The story is pathetic. Pathetic. Nobody's that nice. Nobody fucking gives a shit. And if somebody traveled from another country to meet your loser ass boyfriend... I don't think it was as fucking, like, one-sided as you're trying to portray it, you know? Although, I will say devil's advocate, there are fucking lunatics out there. Who really knows? Maybe there is someone crazy enough to travel to a place completely uninvited, completely on everything. But, big but, if it really was as innocent as all of that, why the sudden change of story? Why the... That picture going up on the community tab trying to prove an alibi. Listen, I'm stopping here. I've said, to, I've, I'm trying to stay out, but it's, it's fucked up. Okay. It's fucked up. She just, she should have just not spoken about this last night. Very simple. That's all I know. And well, I know everything, but I, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Um, yeah, so I don't even want to talk about it. It's so fucking stupid. It's so stupid. Like, what? You guys are telling me to stop talking, but you initiate it. Do you see what you do? Look at her trying to blame the, the, the VIBs. Or the people in her chat last night were telling her, stop talking. Stop talking about it. Stop, stop, stop. She tried to blame them. Well, you guys initiated it. Girl, ma'am, it's your channel. It's your channel. Listen like there's only one of us that can speak on the fucking channel okay you guys are typing i'm the one speaking if i suddenly want to change topic and start talking about fucking potatoes guess what we're gonna talk about potatoes because it's my fucking channel and i'm the only one with the voice who will speak about potatoes if you don't want to speak about something don't speak about it don't fucking use the excuse to speak about it because you actually really want to vent because you sound kind of pent up and aggravated hmm, after your vacation so now you you wanted something to lash out on they gave you sort of the excuse by asking you questions about that or whatever you know 
And now you're going to try and blame them because you went too far. Just like always, girl, that's on you. No one else's fault. It's all you. You shouldn't be live streaming if you're so fucking emotional, man. No, I didn't try to lie. I, I don't know. Like, I don't even know, like, what time or whatever I was there. I don't remember. But anyway, I don't know. Why is she doing a video talking while she's sitting on piss pads? Like, I don't get it. She's mentioned that again, like I didn't want to put in too much of, uh, I'm sorry if even this was too much of that subject in our edit. She went on for hours about it, okay? I put that in because why does she keep insisting on that video from a piss pad, video from a piss pad? If we're really going to go there, ma'am, you do videos from a pissy chair with no pants on, flashing the camera, sitting there in your fucking like lingerie. Live and let live, girl. I mean, it's it's the judgment on her face as if, I don't know, she's all like Miss Proper, you know? Sitting there with her fucking one week dirty hair. Yikes. Ugh. Yeah, he said he's going to stop. Like, yeah, I said you need to stop. He doesn't think there's anything wrong with it. It's not sexual. Like, he showed me all the messages. There's a lot of women that just send him boobs and stuff like that, but it's like. Okay, but that's so ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Listen, again, I'll devil's advocate here. I'm going to give him all the benefit of the doubt in this, okay? Assuming this whole story was BS. Shouldn't he have learned some kind of lesson here about maybe not privately meeting up with people maybe not having that much direct contact with your fans right it can sort of get you in trouble whether it's your fault or not okay i'm gonna give him all the benefit of the doubt there's no lesson learned he still won't stop having these little chats with the people there what's the matter with this guy he either really enjoys fucking with her which he does he, it's like he, and he said it to her once, right? Somebody with no, with nothing to lose. This guy just doesn't give a shit about consequences. It seems to go through, like, if this had happened to anybody else, it would scare them shitless. They would never want to have contact with somebody like that again, right? Not cokey. No, 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 no. He'll rage. He's pissed, but he won't even stop with these messages. Damn. He actually makes a lot of mistakes when typing. Like, he deletes a lot of messages when we talk to LD. Oh, whatever. That just sounds stupid as all hell. And part of why it sounds stupid as all hell is that Shannon will tell you. Um, Koki messaged Shannon and her husband all over Facebook Messenger too, right? Shannon is quick with the screenshot. So she got his messages, right? Before he goes in like a little bitch and deletes them all because he has real big balls to post something but then he deletes like a bitch i don't know if that's what happened in this case but to tell now now we're just making all the excuses for him this is my man and i'm standing by my man and i'm gonna create all the alibi for my man even if it's just sounding so fucking ridiculous at this point hmm He's not good in English. Oh, Shannon. Yeah, thanks, girl. I didn't I didn't know you were here. Yes. Okay. He's not good in English. So he goes and deletes messages. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard before, ever. Hmm? Yeah, Shannon's right there. Shannon says, yep. Yeah. He was sending filth, disgusting shit, way crossing the line. And then deletes it like a bitch. Because he doesn't have the balls to back up his big fucking mouth. Hmm? Just like this one. They let their big fucking mouths run wild. Yep, 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 yep. But they don't have the balls to back up the words. So delete, delete, delete. Sir, get the fuck out of here. You don't delete messages because of your fucking English. You delete them because you're a cowardly little bitch. Never screwed your case? No, I didn't screw anything. You don't know anything. There's no case anyways, whatever. Oh, shut up, EG. I'm blocking you. You're fucking annoying. 
Go shame someone else. How about shame your own life? Why? Because I'm fat and undesirable that somebody would use me? You know? Oh, yeah. Ouija board deflection right there. She even trailed off. Did you hear how small she said that you know? Why? Why do you assume because I'm fat that someone will only use me? Oh, and then she realized, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. They know all about him using me for six months now. You know? Ouija board, Ouija board, Ouija board. Girl, nobody assumes that just because you're overweight, everybody who meets you is taking advantage of you. But... We do know for 100% that Koki certainly fucking is, and you're the only idiot who can't see what's going on for the past six months. So yes, ma'am, Koki is 100% using you, okay? It, it doesn't really have to do with the fact that you're fat. But he is fucking using you. Stop trying to hide behind it. Why do you always come? Oh, it's because I'm fat. It's because I'm fat. What the fuck, man? Literally. It's ridiculous. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought, but that just pisses me off. It, it's it's her default, eh? Her fucking default is always the way. No, Koki's a fucking user. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with it. Yeah. His dating profiles are vile. Why? Are you shaming him for liking something? What? Like, why is that vile if somebody's into something? He's not allowed to have interests on dating profiles or fetishes or what? Like, what? what's disgusting about it? He probably just never, he, like, probably just never went and deleted them or doesn't know how or whatever, you know? Well, so, I don't know. Maybe people are into Bukkake, whatever. I don't know. I'm sure he's never done it. He probably doesn't even know what it means. I've asked him some of these things. He's like, what? He said, Oh, innocent little Koki. How dare you even ask him these questions, Chantal, and pervert his little his little virgin mind. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. Mr. Koki doesn't know what these things are, but makes dating profiles and specifically puts that he's into them. No judgment. And I really mean that. No fucking judgment. Be into whatever the hell you are. I'm not hating on that. Why does she make that disgusting face? <laughs> Ma'am, get that fucking face off your face. Get that fucking face off your face. Yeah, that made sense. Get that fucking face off your face, man. Ma'am. <laughs> he doesn't even know what a bukkake is. He never stabbed anybody at all. He never went to prison. French fried girl's a liar. You see how it all just kind of snowballs? Holy moly. Let the man enjoy his whatever uh, on his dating profiles. Who gives a shit? But just don't make that disgusted face. Just be like, yeah. Yeah, he does. So. <laughs> Be like, so. Yeah, get that face off your face. I had to think about it. Like, does this actually make sense? Yeah, okay, it makes sense. Does it make sense or is this a gelato mint speaking? <laughs> they said they're fake anyway. They said they're not even his. And they're old or they're not his. Like, that's so, people digging up things about people in their past is so irrelevant. Like, who you were yesterday, even at 12 p.m doesn't mean you have to be the same fucking person you are. Like. Okay. No. Again, I disagree. That's a hard disagree. If you dig a little bit and you find out somebody stabbed two people and went to jail. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just me. But that would just make me want to dig a little deeper and find out more. Okay. If you dig a little bit and you find out. Fuck all. You find out roses. You find a little fucking uh, boy scout. Yeah. You drop it. When the first thing you find out is two people got stabbed and you went to jail, I am going so fucking in. On, I'm going to find out everything, like, down to your fucking blood type. Do you understand, girl? Come on. At all. Are you saying you're in a committed relationship? No, I didn't say that. But. Yes. I really do. Really love him a lot. And it just gets more intense every day. I'm so sick of all this STD and cokey crap. Yeah, the co we haven't, like, it's been so long with that stuff that I don't, I'm not going to be near somebody or that stuff or somebody who does that stuff at all, like, in it at all.
never. Again, she's being very specific, and I think it's for a reason. And I've thought this actually since, you know, she's still standing by this whole, I haven't done the since, what is it, July 8th or whatever the fuck the date is. Okay. What about the rest of the stuff? What about speed? What about pills? What about all the rest of the allegedly conspiracy whatever? I strongly believe that the rest of the stuff is still happening. And she harps on that specifically because then it's like well i never lied to them i'm talking about nothing else when koki was doing that live stream cooking in his kitchen i would bet my my literal last dollar that he was high as a fucking kite and he was on uppers and anybody could have seen that that's ridiculous Again, if you're going to lie to us and tell us that y'all are sober, don't do live streams with a crackhead pacing in his kitchen. Just, just a little piece of advice. Not, not ever again. So, it, no. If we do just end up living a really wholesome, reformed, a good life together, like, he even said he'd be open to, like, counseling together and I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know god she's so fucking stupid uh you know when these schmucks say that they're open to counseling right after they hit you if he says he's opening to count open to counseling it makes me think there's been another violent incident between them allegedly literally this is based on nothing except for my intuition which you know guides my fucking life y'all that's when people come out with those grandiose statements like that. I'll go to therapy. I'll go to counseling. We can get married. Something, in my opinion, happened again. And it wasn't good. Or Koki had to get his hands on the money. There was some kind of power struggle. And Koki had to make sure that he got that power back. This was a power play. Nothing more. I don't know. No, it was Pete's handling this. He was happy you were over. I had scared up back together. Well, if you're the FUPA, I'm not going to do things just with Pete's approval. Like, Pete and I are different adults. We're not together in a relationship. Um, he's my friend. And I don't feel like I owe, even to my family, I don't feel like I owe any explanation for what I do. Like, not an explanation. Yeah. I mean, like it's, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm an adult and if I decide I want somebody in my life and we're trying to work it out, then that's my decision. Oh, wow. What a buzz. You know how juvenile it is that every time you start a sentence, um, you have to start it with, I'm an adult. Well, I'm an adult and I can do what I want. That sounds like me. I'm 16 and I can do what I want. That was so it. She, man, a fucking petulant toddler. Girl, when every single person hates your significant other, it's usually not everyone else. It's usually the significant other, okay? Pete's kind of like likes everybody, okay? He's like a very, I want to say non judgmental person. You know, like he would have been down. For anybody. The f Pete's called him fuck face. So what's his fuck face the other day? That was possibly the most aggressive thing I've ever heard Pete say. I loved it. He hates this guy. If Pete's is to the point of hating someone that much, girl, it's time to open your fucking eyes. Do you really think that all of us are wrong? It's just, Koki's right, and it's the thousands of us that are lunatics. What? Including your family and all your best friends. Come on, man. Grow the fuck up. Of course, yeah, pizza's safe. I always go over there, so. No, it wasn't a pill bottle, actually. That was, no. <laughs> I forgot I said all that stuff. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't a pill bottle, even though she's the one who said that it was. Again, because Chantal says too much. Oh, shit, I forgot that I said that. Uh, I said all that. 
Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. So you can't now say that there wasn't some fucking pill bottle thing. Stop trying to change the story. Just please stop talking about it. I'm like, I am an idiot, you guys. Like, my mouth has always gotten me in trouble. It will always get me in trouble, I'm sure of it. I hope not. I have to not be so impulsive and just blurt things out. Like, I don't backtrack, Lindsay. I don't backtrack. It's that when I'm not angry, it's always I have a decision to make. Do I want to try to make it work or leave? And it's always make it work. Ew. It's always make it work and it will always be make it work. And Koki can do whatever the fuck he wants to me and he knows it and I know it and you all know it and I will always just be here trying to make it work. Please. She talks like, and, oh, I'm trying to make it work for the kids. We have that fucking mortgage. We've been together for 40 years. We're talking about a random crackhead we've known for less than six months. Let's move on. Stop sending a dollar ninety nine to talk shit. Fifteen bucks for your blocks. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> no, KB. EG is not friggin' No, he's not starfishing with me. Why would I give him any chances? No, sometimes relationships start out rough and turn up. So I shit on the entire world and you all get no chances unless you're boning me. Haven't I been saying that? You remember when I said that I know that if Shannon had a D, they would have already made up because Chantal would have just, nothing would have bothered her. She could have giggled it off. But because they're not starfishing, you get no chance. Sorry, Shannon. That would be amazing. It's v probably very, 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 very rare. So am I. No, I'm just joking. Since I'm new, I want to say they're going to be that rare, very, 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 very rare couple, right? Where things start out really, really bad, really, 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 really bad, but then they turn it around and they make it great. It's rare, but so is she. Listen, it could totally happen. It could happen. No doubt. Is it going to fucking happen? No. Are you playing us all? Yes. Is Koki playing you worse than you're playing us? Oh, hell yeah, girl. <laughs> At this point, it's like, just pop the popcorn and fucking wait for the shit show. This is ridiculous. She's she's going even, like, more blind, deeper in, you know? Oh, where the rest of the world would be kind of being cautious, kind of backing off a few steps. No, 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 no. This one, it's like she's getting his name tattooed on her at this point, you know? Oh, shit. Don't tell that what Shannon did was so wrong in every way, shape, and form. No excuses. You don't do that. Ex exactly. Isn't that her still? Hey. No, we're YouTubers now. <laughs> Rat face, ick. So somebody asks what? Is, N is Natter still on welfare? No, we're on YouTube now. Wow. Well, I should say, at least he got off welfare, if he did. Because I, I still don't know if I believe that. I think she still might have his monetization and shit. And Koki's still just gaming the system. Allegedly, conspiracy, whatever. I have no proof of that. There's just something weird to the monetization of that channel. And I wonder if that was the whole purpose of doing it this way. Who knows? But no, he's a YouTuber now. He's an influencer. He's not a welfare recipient anymore. That was last month. No, I'm not talking about someone else's personal anything anymore, Bam. It's just because I, I, I'm so bad for that. And it's not right to do. No matter what, you know, like. I think FFG and just saying really started all this war for me things all much worse. Well, yeah, it causes outrage and like it adds fuel to the fire. Of course it does. Oxygen to the fire. Well, okay, like I'll give her that one. I'll give her that one. I agree. I agree to a certain extent. And that's why I did go in. I had made this stupid fucking tweet where I had said the R word, okay, in reference to Koki. 
yeah, I, I, I get what she's saying. I did feel like after like reflecting on that, I was like, yeah, that's kind of just adding fuel to the fire. And when I had actually thought about that situation the night after our live stream and realized like, shit, I, I want to step back from this. I went and deleted the tweet. So mm, I'll give her that one. Yeah. Especially if you say like, I don't know, like, or like, I know like a lot of people like Monty. I don't really have anything against Monty, but he's more like his or Madzy. Their their videos are more like what? Kind of like outrageous, like a lot of stuff that isn't true or like or like spin things a little bit and I don't know. It's like a friggin' tabloid of YouTube. Like Uh oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is she is she about to add Monty and Madzy to the shit list? Oh, that's that sucks. Like I'm, I'm not trying to laugh about it, but it is kind of funny. Why suddenly? No matter what, it seemed like those two they would get a giggle. She had joked about doing a, a three way with Madzy and stuff. What happened? Why the sudden change? Hmm, interesting. I think so too. Hmm? I've said it before. I, she, she, I mean, I think they are quite respectful, but she's fucking butthurt tonight, so she's going in. Oh, unless, okay, I could be wrong here. Have they made videos about May? Maybe that's why she's going in about them. Like, okay, I could kind of understand that, but if it's not that, then she's just being petty. I don't like the ones that just watch my video with like crappy earphones and just like a sheet in the background and just like watch my video and then pause and go, why is she eating a can of ravioli? Good night, Dee Dee. Have a great weekend. Ravioli. What do you think? I'm eating ravioli because I don't want ravioli. Sorry. I haven't like, I don't have good patience. Manzi is weird. He posts like 12 videos a day on you and Amber. I find him to be a bit obnoxious. Anyone else, or is it just me? Oh my god, I have to wait. Hold on. So now he's obnoxious, but before he was so good looking. He was so adorable. She used to get high and talk about him all the time and stuff. But now he's annoying. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I see shots fired. That was a shot at Pulpy. I'm sure. Uh oh. Okay, that went right over my head, but holy shit, y'all caught it. Pew, pew. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. I like when y'all stick up for, like, your people. You know, that's cool. I like that, too. Very loyal. Mm. Loyal to a fault. Pickle powder. This is my supper. Homemade ravioli? Anytime. Okay, did you guys just catch that? She's now eating dill pickle powder with her finger, okay? She takes the first dip, she puts it into her mouth, tongue. She takes the second dip, and it's like without thinking, she dabs it onto her gum. Did you guys catch that? I caught that. If you didn't catch it, not a problem. She's going to do it again. It's like, th this, by the way, is the most sickening part. As you can see, we're nearing the end of my edit because this is where it was, like, disgusting. The sounds of her, like, licking that shit off her finger. I was, I was like, Ugh! I was dying at this part, okay? So she puts the first one on her tongue. She looks into the camera like she's distracted reading the chat. And the second one, instead of putting it on her tongue, she, she jams it into her gums. Just, just notice it. <laughs> Snort dill pickle. No, I can't wait to watch it. I have the bell on for your videos. It's the sound. It's the sound. Did anyone else just get goosebumps? I got fucking goosebumps. Okay, goosebumps. Yes, yes, absolutely. Move. Allegedly conspiracy. Whatever. I wonder if they did that this weekend or uh, weekend on their little fucking getaway because. Yeah, she's doing habits of somebody who might have been fucking around with that shit. And she was really playing in her nose before. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. But either way, 
I don't know if this was done on purpose to troll us. I don't think it was. I think she's just distracted reading the chat and she doesn't even realize what she just did. I pay two rents because I'm a boss bitch. Did I say that? No, that doesn't sound like me. I was kidding, guys. I don't know. Thanks to everybody who's been watching my videos. Except the jerks. <laughs> yeah, that's where I ended it. <laughs> yeah, I that that's what I'm thinking too. It was it was like um involuntary move. You know, she just wasn't even paying attention. She didn't even realize what was going on. She's trying to read the chat. She's already been eating the edibles, right? I cut that out of the thing too. And she just fucking dabbed herself in the gums. Okay. 